Department of Treasury has come out with all kinds of, uh, uh, of uh, rulings. Like the latest that we're hearing uh, are things like uh, uh, crossing borders with gold and silver coins, a glimpse of things to, to come. And that written by Doug Casey. I don't know if anybody knows Doug Casey, but he does a lot of, a lot of writing. And, and I can tell you right now, when you read this, this information, you'll find what they're going to do is if you're selling gold and silver and you say, well, I don't have to report it because it's not in a financial institution. They're going to make all these people who are dealing in, in, in precious metals, they're going to make them financial institutions just by the nature of what they're doing. So my, my feeling is if you have to file the 8938, which is uh, foreign stock securities, whatever, and or the uh, FBAR foreign bank accounts, uh, form 114. You know, it, it's silly to fight it. They're not going to come and get it. I mean, at least I don't think so. We've got what 18? I didn't have to watch on. Uh, we've got probably 18 months or whatever. I, I would think he can't mobilize that quickly. Although, though, when I first showed you that form. He's got some big ideas of what he's going to do to cut down the foreign uh, cash shelters, we'll call them, to avoid hiding assets. I, I really think that that is crazy. They know where it is anyway. I hate to say that. And all they have to do is they have caught three or four people that I'm familiar with. And Luke and Luke Petrosi here has been my friend for 30 some years. Too long. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't say that about you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, they have caught at least three, four, five people coming off planes and arrested them for either SEC violations or tax deals or whatever it might be. And there's going to be a lot more. It's going to be a lot more. 